Hello everybody, Lego Buddies here. Today I'm going to show you my easy layer by layer method on the Pyraminx. So today I'm going to show you a method that I came up with on the Pyraminx that makes layer by layer really easy to do. So basically what layer by layer is, is where you get one layer, this whole part, this bottom part, and then you get the top half. And the way that I do it, basically forces the top half to be really easy. So the first step of this method is to get three center pieces in place. And so when I say a center piece, I mean this piece. This is the tip on top of the center piece. And this is the center piece itself. And these are edges. And so we're going to find three center pieces and we're going to put them into place. And so first, before we do that, we need to choose a color. And you don't really have to put a lot of thought into this as a beginner. You basically just choose a color and figure out what side it goes on. So in this case, we'll use yellow for this example. So here's a yellow, yellow piece. There's no yellow on this center piece. There's yellow on this one, and there is yellow on this one. So basically what you want to do is find three centers that have yellow on it, the three centers that have it, and then that side will be the yellow side because the centers can't move around. The center couldn't go over here, and so this will be the yellow side. So basically move all the centers up to its side like that so they're all next to each other. Now at this point, once you got the easy part down, we're going to do a really easy part, and that's to get the tips. So these parts, just line it up with the center pieces that you put them next to. You can line this one up if you want to, uh, but for the most part, we just want to get this, this part of all these pieces on this side. Okay, now comes the next step. We're going to find edges that have yellow on them in the top layer and move them down into the bottom layer in their correct spot. And so we can't just move them down there. That's wrong. Even if you did something like this, you still would mess up the center. And so instead of doing that, we're actually going to bring it over. And so the colors should be touching the matching color, so blue and blue. And we have yellow here, yellow here going into there. And we bring the other side up as to not mess up this piece. Bring, bring the piece in and then bring that same side back down. And so it's pretty simple. Uh, if it's on the other side, like you see this red and yellow piece here, and you're bringing it down into this slot, you just bring the other side up. This side over the other way, and the other side back down. And so let's do that real quick. So we have this piece right here. We'll move it over so the colors are matching. And bring it into its slot right there. Here's another one. Bring it into its slot right there. Okay, now once you've got these two yellow pieces in at the bottom, uh, you have one more yellow piece left. So you see you could just insert it right there. Uh, but that would make the last layer pretty difficult. And so instead what you want to do is just keep it right here. And look at the color that's already in the slot there. And so in this case, it is uh, blue and green. And so you'll find where blue and green needs to go on the top layer. And so like in this case, it needs to go up here. So we need to get the blue and green piece in its blue and green spot right here. And so we're going to want to use this layer to do all the moves because that's how you normally would insert it. But we're not going to do that yet. And so this is blue and green. Blue and green spot. The slot is right back here, and so instead of just putting it back right back in, we move the blue and green slot over to here, and put this piece up as if we were inserting this piece, but we put this piece in first, and so you see it goes into its slot. We move the top layer over till the piece goes in, like we were going to do earlier, and bring it right back down. So you're basically just turning the top layer a little bit differently to get this piece that's already in the slot to match up. And there you go. So now before we continue, I'm just going to show you a couple of special cases. So if you look on the top and you can't find any yellow edge pieces, what you're going to want to do is you're going to look on the bottom layer. Because we haven't finished the bottom layer yet, these two pieces still need to get into their correct spots, uh, but there are no yellow pieces on top. And so what you want to do is just take one of these pieces out, and you do that by inserting another piece into it, a piece that you don't really care about. And then this piece is over here now. You can put this in. And of course, now we find the piece, the slot that it needs to go into. The slot is right there. Bring it over and bring it in. Now, real quick, one more special case. So when you're looking at this piece at the bottom and you want to insert it up into its slot up here, uh, you, it'll either be here, here, or here, the slot that it needs to go into. And so if it's in the back, that's fine. If it's on the opposite side of where the edge piece is, that's also fine. But if it is where the edge piece in is, that'll create a little bit of a problem because you'll see, you'll insert it in and then you can't find the top piece 
that you were trying to insert in the first place. And so what you want to do is just continue on, just do right what I did there, then move it over and back down, over again, up, and then insert the piece. And you see all the pieces will be in the right place again. And just in case you need any help with it, if the piece is on the other side that you're trying to insert, and you see this piece needs to go up to here, uh, that works the same way. So you just bring it up into its slot, over, over, bring this piece around, and then insert it normally. Okay, now you're on to the last step. And so one case that you can have in this last step is you just need to do a U or a U prime move like this, and it will go right in. Uh, but a lot of the times it won't be like that. So a lot of the times you'll have something like this. And so what you want to do is just line up the center piece first. So blue goes to blue. And you see one of these pieces will automatically line up too. And so what you'll have is just two pieces that need to be flipped. And so what you need to do is there's a kind of move that you can do on this cube. You just go down, down, up, up. And we're going to be using that a couple times. And so what you want to do is, I'm not going to explain this in notation because I know a lot of you may not know that yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to do one of those like down, down, up, up moves, starting on the left side. And so you go left down, right down, left up, right up, just like that. And then uh, don't let go of the cube yet. You're going to shift your hand from the left to the top. And then you go top up, right up top down, and right back down. And so if you want that in notation, it is L R prime, uh, L prime R, U prime R, U R prime. So yeah, what that move will do is it'll basically switch these two pieces. And so once you get to that last step, you put the two pieces that need to be switched in the front, do the algorithm. Again, it's this, this, up, 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 down, down. So I hope this video helped you all out a little bit. I haven't actually seen any other YouTubers videos on this uh, method because I actually made it up. I'm not saying anyone else hasn't done it, but I'm pretty sure I was the first person to do it. And I actually stopped using normal layer by layer to use this method just because it allowed you to be a little bit lazier at the end. But yeah, that's just about it. If you like this video, leave a like down below to show me that you liked it. Um, uh, leave some suggestions for other tutorials and other videos like this that I can make in the future. Uh, if you guys need any help with any particular puzzle or anything. And stay subscribed to be notified when another video like this comes out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!